Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Ian Wardropper, director of the Frick Collection. I'm happy to see so many familiar faces here today. I want to welcome you um, today to the 23rd symposium that the Center for the History of Collecting has presented. When Michelangelo was modern, the art market and collecting in Italy, 1450 to 1650. For those of you unfamiliar with the Center for the History of Collecting, it was begun in 2007 through the energetic efforts of today's keynote speaker, Dr. Inga Riest, Director Emerita of the Center, and Assistant Directors Esme Quadback and Samantha Deutsch. Together, this dynamic team has built the center into one of the premier centers for the study of the history of collecting with a robust program of public programs, publications, oral histories, and most importantly, an active fellowship program that has fostered scholarship in this growing field. This afternoon and tomorrow, we will hear papers examining the forces that motivated collectors and patrons of the 15th, 16th, and early 17th centuries to support artists and encourage innovative ideas that today are recognized as having transformed the artist's status from craftsman to celebrity. At the end of the day tomorrow, we will also have the enormous privilege of hearing uh, from one of our very own Frick trustees, Asso Tavidian, who will be interviewed by Frederick Ilkman, Chair, um, Art of Europe, and Mrs. Russell W. Baker, Curator of Paintings at the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston one of the more challenging titles uh, in our field, uh, but a well-deserved one. Um, Mr. Tavidian's collection of Renaissance and, and later art uh, is well known. The portraits, for example, were the subject of a well-regarded exhibition at the Clark, um, Eye to Eye, European Portraits 1450 to 1850, held in 2011. His presence here today uh, per perfectly complements the exhibition of Moroni portraits, currently on display in the galleries next door, and I hope you'll take the opportunity during the course of this symposium uh, to see this exhibition. Um, I'm thankful to Asso also for agreeing uh, to be part of what promises to be uh, an exciting two days. Um, I would also like to thank um, sponsors of this symposium. The Robert H. Smith Family Foundation has uh, been supporting programs here, particularly in Renaissance art, uh, for the past 10 years and has been a steady um, uh, bulwark to everything that we do, particularly in the field of Renaissance art, uh, the Billy Rose Foundation, and Northern Trust, which has increasingly been supporting exhibitions and symp symposia, particularly the center, uh, in, in recent years. I will now turn the proceedings over to Louisa Wood Ruby, head of research at the Frick Art Reference Library who will further introduce the topic of the day and our keynote speaker. Thank you, Louisa. Thank you, Ian, for that introduction. And thanks to you and to Dr. Stephen Berry, Andrew W. Mellon, director of the Frick Art Reference Library for your support of the center um, over the past 12 years and for your support of the newly created research department. The research department expands the library's scholarly program and creation of specialized resources for students, art historians, collectors, and art lovers beyond the extensive offerings already provided by the center to include areas such as the art market, materials and media, provenance, writing workshops, paleography, and digital art history. A busy program indeed that you may want to check out on the Frick's website. The topic of the current symposium, When Michelangelo Was Modern, The Art Market and Collecting 1450 to 1650, is one that is dear to the heart of our keynote speaker, Dr. Inger Riest. As many of you know, Inger retired as the director of the Frick Center of the History of Collecting at the end of 2017, but kindly agreed to continue her involvement with the center as consultant, advisor, and editor. For the symposium, she has worked tirelessly with her, our colleagues, Samantha Deutsch, Esme Quadback, and Ellen Prokop with the help of Margaret Laster to create a lively program that succeeds, I hope, in covering nearly all the bases of collecting in Italy during a 200 year period. During the next two days, we will be entertained with the collecting stories of Renaissance merchants, bankers, diplomats, courtiers, agents, princes, and marquesas. We will hear about the creation of the earliest drawings collections and the status of fakes and forgeries in the early Seicento. We will discuss women as collectors, and together we will travel all over Italy, from Rome to Venice, to Mantova, to Florence and Bologna. 
Tomorrow, as Ian mentioned, we will have the chance to hear from a contemporary collector of Renaissance art, Frick trustee Asso Tavitian. We are extremely happy to have so many distinguished speakers here today who have worked extensively on their topics that they will present. We are in for an incredible treat. Finally, I would like also to reiterate Ian's thanks to Northern Trust, the Billy Rose Foundation, and the Robert H. Smith Family Foundation for their continued support of the center and all of our activities over the years. The next Smith Symposium will be presented on May 23rd on a topic very new to the Frick, collecting the uncollectible earth and site-specific sculpture. Tickets will be available soon. Before I introduce our keynote speaker, I would like you all to please silence your cell phones. <laughs> 